Vlogmas episode, my name is Carmen, and this is usually the New Leaf podcast, but now for Vlogmas I'm doing shorter bits. Um, so I think this is only like the fourth video for Vlogmas that I've done, so um, not nearly once a day, but um, I've had fun nonetheless. And today I want to show you what I have been making. So not yarn related, but I've been working on my tiny house. Um, <laughs> I've made a tiny desk and a tiny chair. And this is a kind of like DIY room kit by Row Life. And last year I saw a lot of their, oh, I just saw some if the joints come undone. Anyway, last year, um, no wait, three years ago, <laughs> uh, when I bought this, I saw a lot of ads for that and um, it was just so cute, just like a tiny room, so cute. And so this is the third Christmas that I'm working on it and I still haven't finished it because it is all very, very fiddly and you get these like, um, bendy wires see and this one has to be glued in two places and be like bent like that and it is i might be overreacting but it is <laughs> it's a nightmare <laughs> it's uh if you only saw the 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 legs for this desk like these are improvised these are not the actual legs so perhaps I have some footage of that and I'll put that over this but um yeah I was so fed up so I improvised these legs for the desk and also for the um chair you see this bit just came undone so I have to glue that back um but this chair um I'll film the instructions. It, it says to, uh, you know, it's made up out of like little uh, wooden um, boxes that you also have to glue together. Um, and you glue the fabric over that. And I don't know if it's just me, but when you use like a fiber, like, glue, uh, like um, yarn or fabric, and then glue, it's just, it does not compute with me. I do not like that, but okay, I'll, I'll try. Um, but they wanted me to fold it like so many times. It was as if you're gift wrapping the chair and like you have so many folds and there's no way my glue would ever hold that. So uh, in some places I just, I just went for a sewing approach, so I have an actual seam here. I think it looks quite nice, actually. Um, so I just made a tube and then sewed it together, turned it inside out, and put the wooden box in, which was trickier because wood isn't squishable like, fi like the usual fiber fill is. And then I glued things into place. And then... You have to make, sorry if this is not interesting at all to you, by the way, <laughs> but I'm kind of obsessed with it right now. So, um, and then they just tell you to make two of these and then you're done. Uh, but of course the legs kind of just like, this is not sturdy. So, so I thought I'll make another thing here. 
So I'll have to glue that back and then be more careful with it and not just not wave it about. <laughs> um, but yeah, with some adaptations, I think I've, I'm <laughs> slowly but surely finishing this thing. So that has been one of the non-yarny things that I've been making. Um, yeah, because I do have a lot of knitting and crochet works in progress, but I don't always want to focus on that, especially with um, next week, I'll be, I'll be taking a week off. And it's just that non-yarny um, things give me more relaxation right now because uh, when I'm knitting something, even if it's not my own design, um, I constantly think like, oh, I should write this down. Oh, I should film this for a reel, um, even though I hate reels. Um, or I should, I should somehow make this into a monetizable thing. It's like capitalism has destroyed my hobbies. <laughs> um, but with with something like this, I'm, um, I'm able to turn that off more. So yeah, so that's nice. And uh, I also, um, I can't show you, but um, for Centre Classe, uh, I got a diamond painting kit. So it's kind of like, um, <laughs> Uh, it's, it's kind of like glittering stones that you put into place. So it's kind of like cross stitch, but like you you have tweezers and then the rocks and I think it will be very meditative as well. And it's of a reindeer, so I might do that over the holiday break. Um, yeah, so this has just been really nice. And now I want to show you my advent calendar because I didn't want to show you every day. One, because I know uh, my Advent buddy, um, they're getting the same um, that I'm getting. So uh, just to explain that again, uh, we did an Advent swap and we were in groups of three. Uh, so I'm in a group with two other people. So I sent a package of 12 minis to the one and 12 minis to the other, and they all do the same. So everyone ends up with 24 minis. Um, and well, I actually don't know if the others made the same exact sets, but I did. So, um, and we didn't number them. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, I could be or I could be opening up a package on day one that someone else might open on day five. And uh, and I didn't want to spoil it for them like that. Um, and also because I can um, imagine that uh, coming on social media or YouTube, uh, which is also social media, like coming on there and seeing everyone unwrap their presents every day while you might not have been able to get yourself an advent calendar or maybe not any gifts uh, for the holiday season. I thought it was kind of like a rub it in your face kind of thing. So I I just didn't want to do that this time. So yeah, this year for Vlogmas it has been completely different and it may or may not have brought on by a YouTube comment that I saw on someone else's page uh, that said, um, uh, that, that someone else was also doing something different for Vlogmas. And this person commented like, oh, thank God, uh, I can't sit through another uh, Vlogmas video that's just uh, people pouring tea um, um, and lighting candles. And I was like, oh, <laughs> guilty. <laughs> um, yeah, when I first started out, Vlogmas was definitely about lighting a candle, playing soft music, and then uh, pouring tea. It's like, uh, I mean, and I, it wasn't, it's like painting this life that you don't really have. So it was like all for the aesthetic. Um, not that I don't like candles, but I, most of the time I had to do it I had to do several tries before I got it right because I would break the match or 
where it would take like a long time to light and then I was like oh, okay I'll do another take so so it was not like real life so but okay let's um, let's get to my advent calendar so both of my advent swap buddies have gone <sighs> far and beyond <laughs> my expectations these <laughs> I can't even hold them all um, this is the one half beautiful pastels and sparkly ones and I can't wait to work with this lots of uh, lots of purples and I really really like purple so that is yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to work with those. <laughs> These are a bit more difficult to hold. <laughs> so I'll just show you. They are already wound into balls, so I can start working with them right away. And there are lots of greens, lots of Christmassy colors, which I love. Especially love this one. And this one is very sparkly and it actually matches this one really nicely um, and all of them are sock yarns um, so um, so it's very versatile I can make socks but I've also been thinking about uh, a cowl or a shawl um, but as I said both of them have gone above and beyond so uh, I got a little gingerbread soap uh, lots of pretty stitch markers this is a little bus and a daisy um, buttons uh, more stitch markers Uh, a little notebook with stars and a constellation on it and uh, both of them put stickers on their packages like even with a great kitty it's like it's mobile um, so I put them in here Like they were very crafty appropriate too so it's just it's so so sweet and like even like stickers and you know chocolates that I already ate uh, even like liquor filled chocolates like and um, and and even like this so this is from star fiber studio Again, beautiful stitch markers, and it just uh, it makes me <laughs> it makes me super happy, of course, but it also makes me feel bad about the package that I sent because uh, i I always forget that with swaps and things, uh, people tend to go tend to do more than is agreed and um <sighs> And I think, I really think, this is kind of the autism in me, and I'm not just saying that I, ac I am actually autistic, uh, that I, I just sent like, okay, we, um, we are sending 24 um, yarn mini, so I'm doing that. And uh, I just, it did not cross my mind at any point <laughs> to put in more. And it, it oh. and now I just feel bad, but um, yeah. <laughs> Because you don't want to be the one who sends less than you're receiving. But um, especially if you're a Cancer Zodiac sign. <laughs> Just showing all of my personalities here. Um, so yes, thank you all so, so much. And um, I wish that I would have done more with the package that I sent. Um, but yeah, next time I'll know better. Um, 
but yes, I'm just so super, super grateful and I'll make a beautiful project out of these. Um, I am thinking because um, I don't know if you watched um, The Grocery Girls. Um, Tracy has been knitting uh, lots of hats. Usually it's Jody who knits all of the hats. Um, but Tracy, she just designed, and I think it is the Fairfield or Fair Frost hat. Um, and it's kind of, uh, it's a self-striping yarn and a mohair held together. And so, so you still see the stripes. Uh, and I was thinking that uh, because mohair kind of softens things up, so usually where you would need kind of a transition, um, if you add mohair, then the transition from the one color to the next becomes less visible and it kind of all melts together. So, and I'm thinking because I have 240 grams of yarn right here and, uh, and I have another package like that I open tomorrow, like both of them sent one extra package and like, <laughs> um, and tomorrow's package is a big one. <laughs> uh, so, um, so I don't know if there's more yarn in there. Uh, so, so that's like 20, uh, no, 240 grams of yarn, fingering weight. Um, and if I add mohair, I think I'm gonna have enough for like a huge shawl. Um, so I might do that and I might just like stripe it and I have some mohair that's like um, so I could use the same mohair and then these skeins through um, just combine them <sighs> I'm just looking at them and like <laughs> um, but I don't know some I might really want to use for socks because they are just really really fun um, and I don't want their colors to get obscured by mohair, like these sparkly ones. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I might do that. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have any ideas for your FN calendar, if you have any. Um, and I, I, I waited uh, till, till now, also because I have too many projects uh, but also so I could see uh, what colors I have and then um, figure out what to do with them and I can always add more minis to these um, maybe I'll even make a blanket I don't know <laughs> I mean I might use a blanket more than a shawl or a sweater oh there I go so okay I'll I'll still need some time to figure this out, but, um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll be thinking about this, and I also have another sweater that I want to cast on, which is the Minori sweater. Um, it has just been published. Um, I think it's by Covive. Let me just check that. On Ravelry, she's, uh, Reevee. Yeah, on um, Instagram you can find her as Covid, uh, which is K-O-U-V-I-V-E. -E. Yeah, I always have to think about how to pronounce things in English. So, and this is the Minori sweater. Not sure if you can see it because of the sheen. Um, it has lots of luscious cables and it's an Aran weight um, project. And I happen to have a sweater quantity of Aran weight yarn. So um, I was going to cast that on as well. So again, too many projects for a very short time span. So we will see what uh, I end up doing because I also I have lots of other things to do. Um, yeah. But um, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely holiday. Um, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, uh, I hope you have a lovely festive time. Um, we're going to get together with uh, my family and, well, my parents and brother and uh, my in-laws. 
and uh, with my family we already exchanged gifts um, but with my in-laws it's going to be tomorrow so I'm really really looking forward to that we did a kind of like secret Santa thing um, and so we all kind of keep it a secret who we're shopping for and uh, I don't think Tim has quite figured out yet who I have um, he, he even thinks that I might be shopping for him. So it's just really, really fun. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And of course I'm going to be making all of the desserts. Um, yeah, I, I always get the dessert course. <laughs> like we always divide up courses, um, so that everyone does a little bit. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, right, and one last thing. I already prepped my nails for Christmas, and I just got this from Wrap My Nails. It's not sponsored, although I wish. Sponsor me. <laughs> uh, wrap My Nails, and it's like a nail stickers. And I just tried one sticker, and it was really long, so I cut it in half and put it on. This, this looks like I'm flipping you off, but, um, and I did it on two nails because I'm thrifty. Um, and it's kind of like this tartan checkered fabric. There's some sparkle in there, but I don't know if you can see. But yeah, I thought it looked Christmassy. Uh, and I have another tutorial to film today. Uh, and I need to have pretty nails for that. So, yeah. That's the end of this video. Um, I wish you all happy, happy holidays, and I will see you in 2022. Bye-bye.